One, two, three. You want to be in the intro? Oh, okay, bye, you jerk. Fine, I'll do it without you two. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. On today's episode of Free Unsolicited, okay. Do you want to go to your crate? Thank you. Yeah, there's no food up here. This is just my intro, baby. On to... Can I help you? On today's episode of Free Unsolicited Cooking Knowledge, we'll be making protein bagels. If you do hear my phone going off, it's my cameras. The neighbor's chickens um, escape the coop. They're roaming around the yards. Dad's chasing them with sticks, trying to get them back. They're attacking my dog. Anyway, welcome back my little spoons. Before we start this episode, I just wanted to give you a shout out and thank you very much for supporting our newest endeavor, our podcast, more content. Even though it was a little not where I want it to be, I really, enjoyed your positive feedback and it just encourages me to continue making more content for y'all howdy again i always do that i'm just southern i'm just a southern bale with broad shoulders <laughs> according to cody thanks you really know how to get my <laughs> my confidence it's okay if i have broad shoulders it means i'm strong and i <laughs> i'm a farm gal okay Anyway, I know that my main followers really enjoy my cooking episodes and I do plan to have one or two every month. I might alternate depending on our schedule and what we can film. I will also be doing outdoor stuff, hopefully in the spring, summer. I really want to um, take you along for the ride of how my life is on this little farm. It's, it's been a morning. So thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Every sub helps me uh, achieve my goal or what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And um, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that y'all are here. All right, so let's get into it. What are we doing today? Oh yeah, it's protein. I'm going to show you the easiest technique to make bagels. I think when people think of bagels, they're like overwhelmed with like proofing and everything to make them. You don't need any of that because it is a actually a Greek yogurt based bagel. With that said, uh, my lazy unprepared self do not have the proper ingredients to make the ultimate protein bagel, but this is still a high protein bagel with the recipe I will show you. And I will let you know what to substitute along the way in case you want to do it with the actual protein powder that I've done before. I did get this off the internet. I think it was called like skinnytaste.com or something like that because I wanted a bagel that wasn't like high in gluten and I wanted to incorporate more protein in my diet during the pandemic. Don't know why, because all we did was float in the pool and drink and eat terrible food. We single-handedly kept restaurants open during the pandemic. <laughs> but this is something I played around with before I started filming, and I think I got it down to a science. It's been a while, though. It's been a while. So I don't know how they're going to turn out. I have it written down. Also, this is a new stove, so it I don't know. Maybe it will fail. Who knows? But you're along for the ride, all right? I'm taking you with me. We're on this, this train. It's leaving the station. I'm gonna carry them on my broad shoulders, okay? So the first thing you're gonna start out with is a bowl, okay? And the first ingredient, which this is where you can substitute, I usually use almond powder, but today I'm just gonna use flour. Good APF, all-purpose flour. Oh, Jesus. Imagine if that shattered. Okay, so we're gonna do one cup of flour, okay? When I did the recipe, it was actually, hang on. Oh, that is one version of it. Hmm. Quarter cup of flour, quarter cup of wheat flour, and half a cup of protein powder. That's what I did. I think you still need the flour to bind, but I feel like there's like, you could use um, all almond flour. Don't know why I have wheat flour written down. I was using almond flour. See, we're learning together. <laughs> Okay, but because we don't have those, we're gonna have to do the whole full cup. I don't have the protein, I don't have the almond powder, the wheat flour, nothing. I'm just gonna use all-purpose white flour. Again, if you're not trying to be that healthy, this is perfect. If you're not gluten-free, this is perfect. These bagels turn out just as great as the other ones. So we're like half a protein bagel. Huh? Okay. Okay, before we actually begin, remember you need your strainer if it's not strained or Sifted, you need your sifter, not your strainer, I guess, whatever. You need one of these, okay? Put it over your bowl. You wanna do one cup. And yes, this jar is from the dollar store and my cup does not fit 
in it. Another learning curve when designing my kitchen. And you're gonna compact it down, okay? You want a level, level cut. It's a little over, but you're fine. And then you're gonna dump it in the sifter, okay? Sift, sift, sift. See? This gets rid of the lumps. That way when you're like mixing and you actually bake it, you don't bite into like a dry lump of flour. It's disgusting. Ooh, there's something hard in that. Disgusting. Next ingredient. I don't know what that was. You need two teaspoons of baking powder. Again, you have to sift it. Um, this is a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do four of these. And when you're doing it, you want it level. Okay, one, two, three, four. And you're gonna sift. Dad's gotta go chase the chickens. <laughs> we're sifting, we're sifting the baking powder. All right, moving on dust on my hands. Next ingredient is salt. You're gonna need three quarters of a teaspoon, I believe. So I have a quarter teaspoon and I'm just gonna put three of them in here. And yes, I wanna sift it. I don't know, what if, what if something else is in there that I don't like? One, two, oh dear, three, crap. Is my everything bagel seasoning? No, it doesn't have salt, Never mind. Whew. Dodged a bullet. Just sift, sift, sift. Now that your dry ingredients are sifted and in the bowl, I'm just gonna mix it so there's like an even, oh Jesus, distribution of everything. What is my next ingredient? Oh, Greek yogurt. You're gonna want Greek yogurt, no sugar added, plain, okay? Oh, you got 2%. It's supposed to be 0% fat. I don't care, it's fine. I don't know why it always grosses me out, this liquid on top. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna give that a little mixy poo. I love the smell of yogurt though. Mmm. Yes, I'm a weirdo that likes just plain yogurt with no sugar. All right, and yes, I licked it. It's my yogurt. <laughs> I'm gonna be eating the bagels, because Cody doesn't, you don't really like bagels, do you? you? But you never really ate my everything bagels, did you? Oh, well then there's that, guys. Remember, to the brim, my friends. There we go. Okay. One cup of sugar-free, plain Greek yogurt. I don't care what the fat is. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. But whatever, this one's 2%. We'll see how it turns out, but that's what these tests are for, okay? Okay. All right, your next ingredient is gonna be one egg white beaten. So we're gonna go ahead and put that aside. Just another bowl, a whisk. Oh my God. Cody, I might need a new one. It's wobbly. You can get egg whites like this. You can use a, just a, a single egg beaten. Um, again, when I was on this journey of just making a protein one, I just wanted less fat in it and more high protein, so I go with egg whites. For this, it's two tablespoons equals one egg white. One, two. Also, fun fact, you can freeze egg whites up to three months. You can put them in, um, you can measure them and put them in, what are they called? Ice. Trays. Ice trays, and then whenever you need one, you can pull it the night before, put it in a bowl, let it defrost in the fridge, but yeah, up to three months. Okay, one egg white, beaten. My broad shoulders, apparently, I'm just Watch out, I'm gonna make this as fluffy as possible. It's like I'm making, um... <laughs> I get, I'm like, I literally seize. My brain just stops working. Um, brain. Okay. Doesn't work out. This is what it looks like. So now that I have beaten up the egg white, I'm going to fold it in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna mix the yogurt with the dry ingredients and then fold this in. And now... I'm going to fold in the egg white. Okay, now that it's mixed in, it's very sticky. It's like a dough. 
So you have a base now for any type of bagel you want. I personally love everything bagels. And I know that this uh, says Trader Joe's. I've already used this. I just like that it's a shaker. I make my own. Just a quick tip. It is cheaper and co more cost efficient to make your own everything bagel seasoning. If you are an avid everything bagel seasoning person, I suggest like getting all the ingredients, making a big bulk of it like I did, or make a big bulk and you can gift like individual everything bagel seasoning. Um, this was from Trader Joe's and I think it was like freaking 12 bucks or something. It was very, 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 very expensive. But I used it and I made my own and I filled it and uh, guess what? It's the same, okay? So I have my plain dough. I'm just gonna shake a bunch in it, okay? That's probably like a tablespoon. No, maybe half a tablespoon. And now I'm gonna fold it in. So now that all of your ingredients are folded together nicely, you've created like a very sticky ball, I will show you what to do and what you'll need to make your life easier when you're making these bagels. Also, the one thing I didn't tell you to start out with is preheat your oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yes, Fahrenheit. You're gonna get yourself a glass, okay? You're gonna have a plastic bag, you're gonna open it, okay? And you're going to shove it in the glass and you're gonna fold the bag over the edges of the glass. You got it, you got it. And now you're gonna put your dough into the glass. Forgot how sticky it gets. The nice thing is that it just, it stays like together. Like it's pretty much empty. Okay, now that you have your dough, you are going to flip up the edges, okay? You're gonna do whatever this technique is to drop it into the one corner. I like to seal it. I like to leave this little bit open so the air can escape when you finally get it down in there. There we go, okay? So the corner you feed it down to like that, you're gonna cut the corner. Before I go ahead and do that, I just wanted to show you the best find on Amazon are these. These are made for donuts, okay? They're silicone, very flexible. They don't burn. I don't usually pre-spray it with anything. I can put the link below. This is how I've been able to make the perfect bagel, okay? Oh, Jesus. You're gonna cut the corner of this. You can do it fairly big. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pipe it around the, you're going to pipe it around, all right? Squeeze. And you're just gonna follow the circle of the donut. Okay, oh, very sticky. Also, if it's not perfect, you can go back in and just like fix it because you have the mold essentially. You can add a little more. So we got four bagels out of that little batch. Pretty sticky dough. That's what you're gonna look like. They're not perfect, but that's okay. Uh, I did two with the everything bagel seasoning added to it and two without, like on top I mean. Um, so then you have something that looks like this. So you're gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 375. Obviously every oven is different. This might actually be different for me because I'm on a different oven than when I tested this recipe. Um, around 10 minutes, I'll just peek in and then I'll go from there, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven and we will be back. My dad just came down, asked me if I was done filming. And I said, no dad, I'm... I'm, I'm almost done. And then he said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, my YouTube videos. I said, I'm gonna be famous one day. And then he says, as long as you make the money. Thanks, Dad. Does he love these? These are supposed to be like half hand things, but my whole hand fits in them. So when we were chasing the chickens, I, you know, was talking to Dad in the green. Every time, hold that thought. I went to Dad, I was like, Dad, um, I have to film. If you hear the rooster, like doing its like crowing, what do they do? Rooster call? Okay, Google, what kind of noise does a rooster make? This is a rooster. No. <laughs> Thanks, Tips. Okay. And then I said, hey, um, if it makes that noise and you hear it close to the house, can you go scare, it? can you go corral them back? And then we got into talking about chicken coop and uh, he just went on a tangent. He's like, oh yeah, I saw it on YouTube. My dad is obsessed with YouTube. My dad's turning 82 and he's only been using the computer for like two years and he just lives on farm YouTube. Yeah, dad, I will make money one day at this. 
There's 34 seconds left. Oh god. So we did 10 plus 7 plus 4, which is 21 minutes, plus 5, which is 26 Six. minutes, plus 2 is 28 minutes. My uh, 28 minutes later. He has risen. Oh, it's a little bit hot. It's nice. And yes, now that I figured it out, the seasoning does go on before it goes in the oven. This one just wants to be tested, May. There we go. I have to fight them a bit, okay? There we go. So just lovely, very fluffy, beautiful. Look at these. Look at these booties. I'm not gonna lie, they're a little like squishy. I guess if they cool off, they'll get a little harder, but these are just incredible, like texture wise, they smell amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool off a bit and then I will be back to cut them in half and add some butter and then taste test time. That's my favorite part. Oh, Cody, are you gonna taste test these? Of course so. Okay, BRB. All right just yelling with a knife in my hand. So they've cooled down a little bit. So I got my serrated knife. I'm going to slice it in half. Oh yeah. Everyone calm down. Just lovely. We have the bagel. Mm, mm. It's a little more dried out. Yeah, this turned out perfect. So for breakfast, I usually put, like I cut it in half like this, I butter it, I put an egg on each with some avocado, and then I still add everything bagel seasoning on top of that. But since I already had breakfast uh, and it's like three o'clock, I don't even know, um, I'm gonna use my favorite butter, which is the Lando Lakes Whipped, not sponsored. This would be such a wicked sponsor one day. This is um, gold and you can only get in the States. So thank you America for that. Yes, I put a lot. Don't judge or judge. I don't care. This is what makes me happy. Cody, you're like watching me like a <laughs> Mind you, it's a little softer than in, like your normal bagel, but it's such a great alternative. Which one do you want? Do you want to split the top? Here you go. Cheers, my dudes. That's some good, good stuff. It's a little salty, but it's probably from the butter. Thank you. It's so good. I can't breathe, I just wolfed it down so good. Thank you, my little spoons, for lasting this long in the video. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope that you try this recipe, it's pretty good. I love it, and it's easy, and you don't have to proof it. As we've learned, I just suck at bread type things. So usually I add protein powder and actually the protein powder adds a dryness to it if I remember correctly. So it, it's a little different of a texture, but these are great. Once they're made, you put them in the fridge. I, I think they last about a week. You can freeze them as well, up to three months. You can also slice them and toast them just like normal bagels and yeah, butter, cream cheese, whatever. They don't have to be everything bagels. You can do fruit, you could do cinnamon. I don't even know what else you can do, but the options are endless. And yeah, this only took me 28 minutes <laughs> in the oven. I'm very happy with this, very pleased. And I think it's cheaper than buying bagels because bagels are so expensive. Come on, Galen Weston. Actually, I can't talk crap. What if I want a sponsorship one day? I mean, what? You're great. Our alarm dogs are going off. There's someone at the door. You know who didn't visit us this episode? Darwin. Strange. Oh, they're sleeping, okay. Thank you, my little spoons. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Comment below if you try this recipe. And you know what? Protein bagels. All right. See ya.